Hello YouTube, it's Krosama. And here we have today is the High Grade Ogre GNX. Uh, this is from the Build Divers series and this appeared in the second episode of Build Divers. So what I would like to go ahead and talk to y'all about is uh, first, I would like to go ahead and talk to you about the type of reviews I do and essentially why I do them. So I'm not here to do out of box reviews. I'm not just going to do a, a straight up clean build, um, you know, using all the stickers and basic, you know, like minimum or no panel lining. Um, I understand that that's what a lot of builders like because you got to, you get to see the flaws and exactly what you can do with a blank canvas. Um, but there's so many people out there that already do that. You know, Zako Arialis, um, you got uh, Mega, uh, Mecha Guy Kotsu, and you have a whole bunch of other reviewers that do that. So um, I, I want them to do what they do, and then I'm going to go ahead and show y'all exactly what you can do with this model um, and, and just overall enhance it with bare minimum paint and bare minimum effort uh, just to make it like look pretty good for your shelf. And also, I want to go ahead and thank all of you for uh, being a part of my channel. We just hit 4,000 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, overall, I'm very, very happy uh, to be a part of this community. I'm, I'm, I'm so happy that uh, y'all decided to take the time and, you know, not only subscribe, but also, you know, watch my videos, uh, leave comments, give critiques, leave likes, the whole nine yards. Um, so thank y'all so much for going ahead and be a big part of this community. Um, I have a pretty big thing I want to do at the 5,000 subscriber mark. There's actually a few things I would like to do. Um, so I'm kind of reserving a lot of those announcements for the 5,000 mark. Um, but hey, if we if we can get to that point, then I'm, I'm so, so super happy and thankful uh, for all of you. And I definitely want to repay y'all uh, with a token of gratitude. And so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the review. Okay, so before I actually get into like the articulation and everything, I just want to let y'all know exactly what I did, the kind of process. And then as we get through the articulation, looking at each individual kind of section of the model, I can go ahead and explain exactly what that is. Uh, so the paints I actually use, uh, I use a few paints. Um, the first thing I'm going to go ahead and talk about is the silver paint. This is exclusively for any silver that you see on this kit. Uh, I went ahead and used this little silver pen. Uh, I think it's the four artist marker, or artist four marker, however you want to go ahead and say that. Uh, but I just went ahead and bought that not too long ago. And then I use a basic gray Gundam marker just for any gray parts um, that I will go ahead and mention that is colored, not stickers. And then I use this purple just for the um, the eyes and a little part of the face. I uh, did not use it for the center part right there um, in the chest, just because I already laid the sticker down when I was in Osaka and I, I didn't really want to take it off because I'm just too lazy and painting all that. And then lastly, uh, I used this other marker, uh, black, just for some very random parts on the kit, which I'll, I'll definitely point out. And then one of the non-marker paints I use is just this Tamiya acrylic red, uh, just a basic red, and I use that for these little spikes right over there, but I just went ahead and used this. Okay, and next with the panel lining, I use the gray panel line accent color. Uh, I pretty much only use this for the what? There's a, a couple of white parts. Actually, it was just the GN drive, yeah. So uh, just the GN drive, I went ahead and used the gray. Whereas everything else, I went ahead and just used a dark brown instead of the black. Um, I think it looks pretty good with the dark brown. It almost actually comes off uh, black, you know, either way. Uh, but I mainly use this for the, uh, the tan parts as well as the black. Um, the kind of like very purplish blue. Um, I, I put a little bit in some places, but for the most part, uh, I just kind of left it as it is. And then lastly, for uh, all the shading that I will actually point out, I use just these basic uh, pastels. These are actually, um, ah, I forgot uh, what kind of pastels they are. They're not oil-based because um, uh, I've had oil-based before and just these work way better when it uh, comes to like shading. Uh, so I do have these that I pretty much utilize for that. Okay, and here I have the kit. Uh, looks really, really good. I love, um, I, I pretty much love this kit. With the burning passion, um, I actually did not care too much for it uh, back in like I think it was like February when they uh, they kind of showed it. I was not a fan of it. I thought it looked pretty. I don't know. I don't know. Just very like generic. It just didn't look good. But after building it, um, I'm just letting you know it's fantastic. So I want to go ahead and get into uh, the different sections and then articulation. Okay, so let's take a look at the head real quick. Uh, I did turn up the brightness just a little bit so that way you can actually uh, see it uh, more efficiently because um, it, was, it was a little bit too dark. Uh, but looking at the head, the head looks really good. Uh, it, it does need a sticker uh, for the eyepiece. Uh, I actually used it at first. 
Um, and then when I got that little purple marker, I went ahead and took it off and then just kind of painted the black and then the, uh, the little purple all right there. So um, I'm hoping y'all can really catch it uh, as much as I'm catching it right now. Uh, but overall, the face does, does look pretty good. Um, just did very, very light shading all around with the panel lining. Uh, the articulation is pretty much up and down and kind of like back and forth because it is going to be on a little um, the poly cap piece right here, like a little ball joint. And then this is also going to have a clear piece right here for the visor uh, in which this does have a gimmick uh, that I will actually mention a little bit later on. Okay, let's take a look at the body. Uh, so the body does have a little clear piece right here with the sticker underneath it. Uh, just a, like a, it's, it's actually, both of them are purple. It's a very, very light, clear purple piece. And then underneath it is going to be a, uh, you know, kind of like a little metallic, um, and I guess, well, I guess a metallic, uh, but it's gonna be like a little metallic purple. So the sticker itself does, to me, look, looks pretty good. Um, I actually like it whenever it catches the light right there, so it kind of look, 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 looks like it's glowing. Um, what I would probably recommend is kind of just uh, doing like a, a silver paint underneath it, uh, and then go ahead and do a purple over that silver. I think that would probably give you the same, if not a better effect. Um, but just let me know if that's actually something that um, is, is pretty much possible. That's actually what I would do is just do a first layer silver and then a second layer purple. Uh, but overall, nothing really too crazy with the body. Um, for right here, it only rotates like this. There's no like ab crunch at all. Um, so that kind of sucks, but this is a bulky kit, so I'm not really like scrutinizing it that much. Um, now when it comes to the shoulder uh, joints right here, let me go ahead and take this off so I can go ahead and show y'all. Uh, this part is just basically on this little like ball joint right here. So you just basically pop this right on and it's gonna be fairly just like, I'm not gonna say loose, but it's gonna be like just free. Like it's not really connected to much except for that one part. Uh, but I'm, I haven't had any kind of issues with this like falling off or anything. So this isn't too bad, but uh, it could definitely go up. Uh, so, th so this part actually does come up about that much and then it's gonna come out probably about that much right. Actually about there. So that's about the range of movement you're gonna get and then going back and forth, uh, it's gonna be getting about that much in movement. So that's actually not too bad. And then looking at the backpack, now these two parts right here are supposed to be stickers uh, as displayed right here. So the, these stickers and then these as well uh, are supposed to be right there. But just going ahead and use like a very basic gray, uh, you know, gray paint as well as panel line around it uh, to give it that kind of like outline. To me that looks good. And then I went ahead and panel lined uh, just these little parts right here uh, gray and then did a very light uh, green sh uh, like shading around it. I don't think it's going to come come off that well on the camera, uh, but I can definitely see it right here with you know my naked eye. So um, I, I just went ahead and did green because that's pretty much what like a lot of GM particles um, look like. Maybe red should have been a, a more appropriate uh, kind of look, uh, but I went ahead and just decided to go with the uh, the green. Okay, so now looking at the arms, uh, I already showed you what the range of movement is for the uh, the shoulder. Uh, this can, yeah, it actually can go 360, so um, I think I was just kind of like messing with this and I couldn't get it for some reason, but uh, that can definitely move 360. This part right here can actually rotate, but uh, I, I generally just can't kind of keep it like this, I think like around there, so that way this part can just... Uh, stay flush and kind of more symmetric um, but this definitely can rotate if you want it um, now I went ahead and did I don't know if you can really see it but I did a purple shading around here um, just because I like I like the purple on the kit like just there's really only purple here and on the forehead and the eyes so I was like let me go ahead and shade a little bit of purple uh, right there and I think it came out pretty decent uh, now looking at the articulation right here at the lower bicep, this really isn't going to do too much as far as like swivel. It's going to be blocked right here, so not going to get too much. And then looking at the elbow, this is actually very, very limited, so it's only going to get a pretty much a perfect 90 degree angle like so. Uh, not really too, too spectacular, honestly. And then looking at these red spikes, these are actually supposed to be stickers as displayed right there. But I went ahead and just primed this. Uh, I put a little... Um, gray primer right on these pieces because this is going to be uh, this like purplish um, blue you know piece right here so I went ahead and just put a little uh, surface primer on there and then I hand painted that red right on there and it, I think it just comes out way way better so if you have those tools uh, I definitely recommend you utilizing that 
instead of the stickers if you decide to go ahead and straight build this kit. Uh, but actually, if you do decide to paint this kit, I mean, you're gonna have to do that anyways because you know, you is I would not recommend you know trying to spray paint these little tiny parts. This is this came out perfectly fine with just uh, some hand paints. Okay, and looking at the hands, the hands are pretty good too. Uh, there's gonna be stickers that's gonna be utilized for these hands, which is gonna be this little gray right here. Um, so as displayed right here with these little gray stickers, right, you know, these little three right here. Uh, but I decided to go ahead and utilize uh, paint because I think paint is just more superior to stickers. Um, now there is gonna be one more hand as an accessory, which will be this open hand. So I'll go ahead and utilize this uh, as far as poses and everything. But uh, yeah, pretty much gonna be some, um, gray paint that's going to be utilized for these parts right there. Okay, I'm looking at the waist. The articulation of the waist is actually pretty limited just as much as uh, everything else. Uh, so these little two front, you know, like little uh, front skirts come up. So nothing really too crazy. Uh, now the silver, I went ahead and painted that silver. It's originally supposed to be the same color, uh, this little like purple uh, as far as the plastic. But I was like, I really wanted to make something stand out and I really didn't want to keep that purple. I just, I thought it looked kind of weird. So I went ahead and dabbed uh, some of that like chrome um, silver right on top of it. And I think it came out pretty good. It really makes the kit kind of more distinguished. So your eyes are kind of drawn to these pieces as well as like the little purple in the middle. So there's a lot of eye candy um, that's all around this kit. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much why I went ahead and went with the silver. Now the side skirts also, these are gonna come up pretty much like that. And then these little gray, you know, little, well, they're not really parts, but uh, they're basically two halves of these two pieces right here that connect together. And you're supposed to utilize a sticker, which is these two right there. That's supposed to go right there, but uh, obviously just utilizing some, uh, some gray paint is gonna go ahead and do wonders. And looking at the back skirt, nothing's gonna be moving up, but these are actually gonna be the parts where you um, pretty much insert the, um, the little sabers. Okay, and taking a look at the legs, uh, these are going to be on little, uh, pretty much ball joints right here. So the the max range of movement it's really going to have as far as splits is going to be about that much, which is really really limited. But keep in mind, this is a very bulky, you know, a bulky suit, so it really doesn't have any need to do like splits and anything crazy. But hey, it can come out, you know, fairly decently uh, far. It's not really that bad as far as the uh, the front kick, but the back. You're yeah, you're not you're not going anywhere uh, with a back kick such as that now You do have a little bit of, t of articulation with this like little back piece right here So if you kind of just move this forward You can definitely bring this up about that far and then when it comes to the knee bend You're gonna get that far of a knee bend which to me it really isn't that bad I think a lot of people are probably gonna hate this uh, But I keep I just keep in mind. This is a bulky kit. I do not need to um, you know, realistically have any kind of like stupid dynamic poses. Uh, now it comes with the leg, is gonna be this little front skirt right here, which, uh, like the ankle skirt, this isn't too bad, that comes out a little bit, and then this is gonna be on a little ball joint right there. But one cool thing that you're gonna go ahead and see is that this little uh, piece right here for both of them is actually tilted, so I don't know if you can really, really see it, but it's, a, it's actually bent a little bit. Um, so let me go ahead and just take it off. So this is actually uh, somewhat bent, uh, which is really good because now you, if you do like more wide angle poses with the feet, um, they can actually achieve uh, those kind of like really nice um, kind of like ankle pivots. Uh, and this is gonna be a ball joint, so it's pretty much gonna ro uh, roll around such as that. And then it's also gonna be able to move forward that much as well as move back about that much right there. And for the shoulder pieces, I went ahead and painted these like little parts right here gray. I uh, was con considering painting them silver, but I decided gray was just a better alternative, especially since uh, in the manual, it kind of depicts it as a uh, gray. So like, you know, let's just kind of keep it uh, a little bit more canon. Okay, and next you're gonna have two Gian Ogre swords. Uh, there's actually no stickers that's gonna be applied to the swords, but I went ahead and just painted uh, like the little hilt right here black, just cause it was just all tan and I want to go ahead and add a little bit of color to it. So um, I really do want to panel line like some gray into that or maybe even some, uh, some silver. But uh, I'm just kind of like, eh, I was like a little, little bit lazy. So I went ahead and left it as is. And I just went ahead and painted some uh, silver right there as well as on the opposite side. Uh, but they're pretty cool little Gian swords, uh, well Gian ogre swords. And what you can actually do is you can connect these two. And the way you do that is basically just slide these uh, kind of like in these little like 
pegs right here and then you can go ahead and make the uh, the gn i think it's the gn twin ogre swords so that is pretty cool and here as you can see it looks pretty good with the swords um i'm actually a pretty big fan of it um the swords was actually the point wait one of the kind of key things i didn't really care for because um like the shotols um like the sand rock has I'm just not a fan of those, to be honest. Like, I, I just don't think they look interesting. Uh, and I, I just thought the same thing when I saw these blades. But uh, you know what? They actually pretty much grown on me. And here he is with both of them combined. Uh, it looks really good, and there's definitely going to be a lot of different poses that you can go ahead and achieve with this. Um, there's a couple of that I've already had in mind, so um, you know, definitely, I, I would say stay tuned for those kind of poses uh, in the pose video. But overall, uh, I think this looks really, really good, especially with it combined. All right, and if you want to go ahead and store these, uh, this is the way that you're going to have to do it is put this pretty much first right over the back and kind of like on a diagonal kind of angle like so. And then you get these two pieces right here, which are basically going to plug into this part right here. Uh, so just go ahead and plug this in and then you're going to take this part and then just plug it right on top and then bam. So if you want to go ahead and store them, you can go ahead and store them right on the back like so. All right, and the last bit of accessories that you're going to get is going to be these little beam spikes. Uh, so you get 14 in total, and you can go ahead and put them on the shoulders as well as the forearms. And then here he is with all those beam spikes attached to the forearm. So not really any kind of problem. They just go ahead and attach right into the forearm like so. And then if you want to go ahead and do a shoulder spike cannon, you can definitely plug in those little spikes into the shoulders and then do some kind of ramming attack on the enemy. And then lastly, when this suit goes into its trans am mode, uh, the only gimmick it really does have that to me is not really that significant is uh, basically like a one eye mode. So this basically enhances its lock on mechanisms. So if I can take it off. So then you basically lower this just a little bit. Uh, as you can see, there's a little crease right here. Uh, but you just lower that little visor right down and enhance its lock on capabilities. Uh, and that's that's actually really not not too much it um, it really just helps out uh, whenever it's uh, kind of attacking enemies and go ahead and target them easier and it can basically lock on so uh, that's essentially the only like real gimmick of uh, the suit aside from the accessories that you can put on the shoulders and forearms and then lastly it does come with a whole bunch of extra parts uh, all right here and then you are gonna get like the tightest uh, I think these are called like the beam Saturns if I'm not mistaken uh, but these cannot fit on the form at all so unless you want to mod it somehow uh, you could definitely put it on there but uh, other than that these are not meant to be put on the GNX Ogre Okay, so what are the pros about this kit? Well, the pros are it is menacing looking. Uh, I think it looks pretty fantastic, and overall, it has a lot of shelf presence, so I think this would be really good to have uh, in a company with the Double O Diver. So if you do have both these kits, I think you can really pull off some pretty decent poses, and then the accessories are really awesome to boot. And also for the pros, the color scheme is really good. Uh, I love that purple with the red. I think those color schemes just really, really work. And you, if you just have like um, some kind of like shading mechanism on it, like if you just put some shading, some nice little panel lining, and what I want to do was a little bit of weathering, so maybe a little bit of chipping, silver chipping at that, uh, I think it would have looked way, way better. Okay, and looking at the cons, well, pretty much it uh, it just doesn't have any good posability. Uh, it, it it does work with what it has, so it does have a you know 90 degrees from for the most part. Uh, but the legs are going to be on those ball joints, so it's going to be limited in that aspect. Um, but to be honest, it's really not that bad. It is a bulky kit, so um, I can kind of give it a, a free pass just for that. But um, honestly, it would have been nice to have like a little bit more posability with the elbows. Um, I really can't say anything about the accessories because it comes with everything that the anime kind of represented. Um, there's really not any kind of like effect parts I can really imagine it having. So the cons are very minimum, uh, but I would just overall say the posability uh, I really wish would have been increased. Well guys, that's all I have to say about this kit. So overall, I do recommend it. I think it's a pretty, pretty awesome addition to your Bill Diver collection. Uh, if you wanna go ahead and you know purchase it for your own kind of like collection, or if you wanna do any kind of diorama, or you wanna paint this up any kind of way you want. Uh, but overall, I think it looks pretty fantastic. So definitely give it a thumbs up if you wanna go ahead and buy it. Uh, other than that guys, that's it for me. So thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all in the next review. Bye bye.